Hey guys, so we're gonna show you how to install your wire stopper and also how to straighten out the short end of it so that it reaches the flywheel once you get your 30 note movement. As well as uh, there's a brass pin down there uh, to show you where the brass pin and the wire stopper kind of come together. So pretty simple stuff, but uh, go ahead and first grab your wire stopper and straighten out the, the short end of it, okay? So that it can reach the flywheel. So once it's straightened out, you're going to uh, the middle screw on the movement. Go ahead and grab the middle screw, Max. I'm sorry, the middle screw, but the movement. Go ahead and grab the movement and go ahead and loosen that up a little bit. Make sure you don't loosen the far end screw, only the middle screw. So once you do that, you slide in your wire stopper. And you tighten the screw. He's going to show you pretty much what to do here. All right, you can just wind it up maybe a little bit to see how the function goes. Okay. Grab the winding key that you get. You'll get winding key, screws, uh, wire stopper. That's all you need really. And then if you order the brass pin, all right. So now you can see, and push, there it goes. There it stops, it, it does reach. You got to make sure you just straighten it out. Okay, there it is. That's the 30 note. And that's the wire stuff we get. And now if you did get the brass pin, the brass pin, there's a little hole. Grab the brass pin, Max. And you'll see kind of where that goes now. Uh, once you bend your uh, wire stopper, you can bend it just to show them how, how it kind of bends. You got to bend it and just cut off whatever you don't need. Once you have it in the right place, the little brass pin will basically go on the end of it. And once you put it on, it's connected to something at the top, and then you can just go up and down, and it'll start and stop. And that's pretty much all you need to do once you get it. Thank you.